A current affair always stands up for the battler. You are a liar and you are a cheat. No issue we won't tackle. We just wanted to ask you a few questions about why you don't pay your taxes. And no questions we won't ask. Cowards hide behind masks, don't they? Always relevant. Huge wall of flames. Everyone just dropped their hose and just, just ran. Factual. The house is a pigsty. And definitely fair. I didn't really believe I was breaking the law. But we love to have fun along the way. They can kiss my whole <laughs> Mike Munro and a current affair returns tonight to win television. Tonight, the con man who fleeced Olympic golden girl Betty Cuthbert strikes again. Authorities now have a new list of charges against him. Plus, inside Woomera, two doctors tell us what conditions are like for asylum seekers being held in detention. And the wives of cricket heroes Glenn McGrath and Michael Bevan become two of our proudest new citizens. Hi, it's great to be back with you for 2002 and thanks to Tracy Grimshaw and Helen Daly for holding the fort so well over the past few weeks. Well, we begin tonight with families who feel betrayed by our justice system. Imagine if your child was killed and the person responsible was brought before the courts. Of course, you'd be distraught. and At the very least, you'd expect to see a punishment that fits the crime. But all too often, that's just not happening because of what's known as plea bargaining. Backroom deals that are giving killers an easy way out while the families of victims suffer for life.